Lumberjack fans, he's back. It's the Axum Insider, your boy Buckets. With me, a Lumberjack legend, Nate Bain. You know him and love him from the Duke game, 2019. Goes coast to coast, the game winning layup. Nate Bain, thanks for joining us here on the Axum Insider. So we're here coaching alongside each other this week at the Kyle Keller basketball camp. So let's start with that. What does it mean to you to get the opportunity to come back here to SFA, to be able to volunteer, to come back and, and be a coach and be able to get with the young people here in the community at Coach Keller's camp? Uh, well, thanks for having me, first of all, but it means everything to come back and, you know, give back to SFA because they gave back, they gave to me just, just so much, you know, just, just give me the opportunity to play at a high level, to win big games, you know, travel around the world, go overseas, you know, as a fan, it's taking me places, you know, I only see on TV or even dream about going to. So, like, you know, the least I could do is come back and, you know, try to help kids realize the dream too and, and try to push for that and want to be a part of SFA for this place, this city, you know, this town. SFA itself is just, it means everything. So what does it feel like to walk back into this facility? Now, this is all kind of new since you were a player yeah. here, but knowing that you know, you and the players before you were, were kind of the pieces that helped lay the bricks for this. What's it like to walk into this facility now and, and see what you guys have kind of helped create? Uh, it's it's definitely uh, a crazy feeling. It's surreal, you know, because you, know, you hear about all these things that that could possibly happen just from, from winning games. And SFA has a winning history that, you know, these last 10 years have been, you know, extremely, extremely special for the school itself. But seeing these facilities and just all the stuff they have for guys is going to like shoot the recruitment through the roof. And you know, these guys here can now be, be a brick in the grand scheme of building. You know, all the guys before us, they were bricks. We came in, we laid our brick. And then, you know, now we, now we have this. Who, who's telling where it could go in the next five, six, or seven years? What, what, what uh, we could do as players, you know, like helping out this community, you know, because SFA brings in so much to NAC. And, you know, I think this town is a little how like special and how blessed it is to have a school like this right here and you have the athletes who like love being here and love coming back and love giving back and just giving their heart to SFA. So as we speak right now, those campers, they're sitting over in the Coliseum eating lunch on the big screen right now. They're watching the second half of that Duke game and you knew we were going to get to the Duke game. Yeah. <laughs> when you guys, when you guys went to Cameron Indoor Stadium, I, you know, you were talking a little bit earlier today when some of us asked you about it. You walked in there and you said guys were taking pictures and, and all that stuff. But you said you didn't want to do any of that. You didn't take any of the photos. Why was that? Just because to me as a competitor, it was like, like, like you know, all respect to Duke. You know, it's Duke. They need no introduction, right? That's right. But, you know, when you step in between the lines and you want to compete and you, you know, you're there for business, the allure of Cameron Indoor Stadium just didn't hit me until after the game. It was like, oh wow, this this place is nice. But just going into battle, going into win games is like, I couldn't I couldn't even fake I couldn't even fake, like I was excited to be inside there. Yeah. Like I was. I looked up once inside the rafters. I was like, they do got a lot of banners, but you know, we got banners too. That's right. And then maybe one of the most famous layups in college basketball history. I mean, taking down number one Duke a 27 and a half point underdog going into that game. You're racing up the court to get that ball in the basket, time running out. Like what's going through your mind in that moment? Is it just, man, run as fast as you can and get this yeah. thing in? What's going, what's going on during that moment? Uh, so I guess, you know, leading up to it, I'm just standing there on defense like, man, I'm going to steal right now. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh man, you got the ball. And then G, G dies on it, he looks at me, I'm like, oh snap, he's throwing it to me. So, so, so I get it and I turn around and I, I take a quick glance, I'm like, three seconds, I was like, I'm going all the way. And uh, cause most people be like, oh, why didn't you pull up and try to hit one from half? I'm like, first of all, I'm not like the greatest shooter of all time, so I'm going to go for the high percent, I'm going to try and lay it up. I'm, I'm, I'm just banking it all that I make it there in time. I'm like, if you don't make it there, you go to double OT, uh, we probably lose that game. <laughs> Cause I'm, like, I'm gassed out at this time, so I'm just thinking, like, make it there before White catches me. And it's one of the one of the best shots in college basketball history. What an absolutely a legendary performance in, in Lumberjack history. Lumberjack fans, we we talked to Coach about this a little bit earlier. That drill, they run it every day in practice, from the free throw line to that layup. They call it the Duke drill. Nate Bain, appreciate you joining us. We'll catch you next time. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Axum Insider, it's your boy Buckets. I'm here with Coach Keller. Coach, 
We've been out here at the Kyle Keller basketball camp all week. Coach, what does it mean to you to be able to, to give back to the community, to have these youngsters here all week long? We've done it twice now this summer. How does it feel to get, be able to give back to them? Minus one coach has been really good. I mean, we've had to really lean on most of the coaches besides in the NBA division, not, in, not NBA, the Big 12 division. Uh, we've got a handicap there, but it's been great, you know, that we've, we've had almost 400 campers this summer and, and teaching these kids how to play. Uh, it's been interesting to see during the breaks, we've had a lot of kids doing this, and I don't quite understand that, how, and we're in basketball camp and we got guys doing doing this, and uh, but we're doing the best we can with them as we move along. That's right. We did some defensive drills and, and we did a little hip rotation stuff with the with the Houston Cougar group over there. Is that what that was? That's what we were doing, yeah. Uh, Coach, so we just had Nate Bain talk to him a little bit. Um, obviously talk to him about that Duke game. The campers are over watching the second half of that game right now while they eat lunch. Uh, just talk a little bit about him and, and even, you know, other guys before him, but what they mean, you know, coming back, they get to see this facility that you guys have to practice in now. Um, what does it mean having those guys back here, and what did they mean to SFA and to this program where you are now? Yeah, and they, the former players built this facility. And what I mean by that is that the interest level, we didn't have the donations that we've had, the money spent in the, for this facility, if it wasn't the previous players, the previous coaches. That's why we have this facility today. You look around here, the success, the banners. You know, the, the Nate Bain layup and Jarrell Scott, who's conference player of the year, those kind of the guys that are back here. You know, Eric Bell was a point guard on the first NCAA tournament team. He was back here this week. And we've got others. We've had about four or five former players that have come back this week. And I, it's awesome for me to be able to show them what they built and the success that they've had. And that, to me, is what this is all about. Because they built it, I'm renting it, and the players get to home, be at home with it. That's right. Well, Coach, we're going to get a chance to talk to you again pretty soon. Should have a, a finalized schedule pretty soon. I know everybody's looking forward to that. Yeah, and, and down gonna, to one game. We're going to get a chance to talk to you whenever we get that schedule released. You guys stay tuned for some more Axum Insiders. We'll be back. Summer's over, baby. 23-24 season. Here we go. Axum Jacks. Set.